so i power up, up my phone i'm using a 6940 so i am repowering it in your case you might be having a 6930 the procedure is the same although you in your case you will not be having the screen navigations on the lcd but the procedure is quite the same so as the phone boots let me show you what i have done to my laptop i have installed the tftp which is going to act as my tftp server so this is the tftp after i install it when i run it it is it is like this so it has a root folder which is in the c program files tftp 64 so i will go to that folder here you can see it is empty so i need to have downloaded my zip firmware from my website which i'll then come and put in the root tftpd folder here so my software is this one i'm going to copy it from my downloads and then i'll paste it into the root folder for the tftpd server it's going to ask me for permission and then i'm going to say continue then the software is in the tftp server then once it is in the tftp server like this i will close it the tftp server root folder now my phone has rebooted and it has come to this stage so when you are at this stage you are going to choose manual upgrade So make sure that your TFTP server, the application, the server interface is connecting to the interface that you are using to connect to the IP phone. In my case, my laptop's IP address is this one. So this is the interface that i am using to connect to the ip phone which is 192.168.1.249 right so i go to the tftb application and i make sure that the server interface is 192.168.1.2.249 I will go here to the IP phone, then I will select manual upgrade. I do that by clicking here. You can see right now it is on my cloud connect, but I'll click on manual upgrade and then I'll click on next. Then it's going to ask me for a TFTP server IP address which is the IP address of my laptop which is here 192.168.1.249 so I will enter that It is not very clear, but hopefully you can see what I've typed in there. 192.168.1.249. That's what I've just entered today. Now I click on save. As soon as I click on save, the phone will start to reboot. The phone is restarting now.
it is waiting for the network to come up it is now waiting for dhcp it is now it, it got an ip address at this point if it didn't get an ip address it was going to be stuck on dhcp so make sure you got a dhcp server for your network when you are powering up the phone now it is checking for firmware At this point, I can click on the settings button of the IP phone just to see on what step it is downloading new firmware. You can see on the TFTPD application that it is starting now to download the file. You can see the file moving there. We wait as it downloads the firmware. It is now saying upgrade remain, do not power down. Upgrade main done rebooting. It has written 15% LLDP. 